Good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Lily. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today? And Glenda? Good evening. <clears throat> Hi, Glenda, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? How's everything? I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine, thank you. And Great. You? I'm good, thank you. And how was your day? Very great. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And Glenda, I think you told me you, tell me. Sorry, no escuché lo que me dijo antes. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, I said. Y me alegra escuchar eso. Like, okay. And, y, oh, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Se me olvidó lo que, lo que le iba a decir. <laughs> And, oh, yeah, I remembered. Um, I was going to tell you the platform you finished, right? I think you told me you finished. Yeah, I okay. finished. All right, that's fine. Great. And Thank let you. me see Jose Jovito. Good evening. How's everything, Jose? I don't I don't have it. Oh, how's everything? How are you? I am, I am old today, I, okay. I work in the platform for the oh. afternoon. Okay, nice. What section are you in the platform? Number four. Number I is section number four. Section four, okay, perfect. That's very nice. Jonathan David. How are you today? Hello, that's fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Thanks. Mm, it's a busy day. All right. Uh, What do you do, Jonathan? A que se dedica? What do you do? Um, auditor. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, nice. That's interesting. And how about the platform, mister? Have you been working on it? Yeah. Um, yesterday, finished the midterm exam. All right. You're done with section um, three and the today, midterm test. Uh -huh. and today, starting the section four. Okay, perfect. You're doing pretty well. Keep going. Okay, thanks. All right. Let me see. And Walter Renee. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. How was your day, mister? Uh, with a lot to work. Lots of work, okay. But fine. All right, that's the important thing. And how about the platform, Walter? Uh, I, I finished the uh, section three. You're done. Did you uh, solve the midterm test as well? Yes. You did? Yes, okay. I did. How was it? Easy? Uh, so so? So so. Okay. So, so. All right, that's fine. Um, Ms. T and Alice, good evening. Good evening. How's everything? It's very good. Great. I'm happy to hear that. And how about the platform, Miss? How are you doing? Um, section four. You're in section four. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Jose Naun. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you today, Mister? And so, so, 
So, so really, what happened? How was your day? Oh, you were a little sick? That's pretty bad. I hope you feel better soon. Um, and tell me about the platform, Josue. Oh, excuse me, did you Number see? five. You're in section five, okay. All right, excellent. Yolanda Cativo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, well, it was fine. Okay, nice. How are you doing with the platform, Miss? <laughs> good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. I, I, yes, I did uh, number five, no? Number five section. You finished it? No. Oh, uh, five you are? Dot three. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, that's fine. You're working on section number five. Okay, very well, Jolanda. Thank you. Um, let me see, Karen Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How are you, Karen? It was fine. Okay, perfect. And how about the platform? Karen, uh, how are you doing with the platform? What section are you in? Uh, I finished it. Oh, you're done. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Congratulations on that. Let me see Norman Rivera. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Hi, mister. How are you? Uh, good, good. Very fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Uh, very fine. I work in, I work in every day. Okay. What do you do? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I am a quality auditor. All right, that's very interesting. Nice. And yes. the platform, Norman, how are you doing? Uh, I I have the section for health. You are in section number four, like in the middle of section number four, you mean? Or... Yes. yes. Okay. In the middle. All right. Yes. You're doing pretty well. Keep going. Thank you. Okay, so I think we may start now. Welcome everybody and good evening to everyone. Okay, let me see what we got for today's class. Today is our class number eight. So we are going to continue talking about the simple present. And in today's class, we are going to focus on questions, making questions, yes, no questions and information questions as well. So let's start by practicing a conversation. Here we have it, it's in between Mark and Jennifer. So I'll read it for you once, and then I'm going to give you some time so you practice it with your classmates. So we have a, um, goes like this. Hello, can I ask you some questions for an interview? Yes, I can answer some questions. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question, what do you do? I work in a library, I'm a librarian. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your husband do? He works as a policeman. Do you usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. How often does your husband exercise? He sometimes exercises four times a week, but he usually exercises only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We rarely go on vacation. However, we'd like to go to the mountains if we can. 
What type of books do you read? I often read horror stories. Thank you very much for answering my questions. You're welcome. So that's how it goes, right? Then um, I'm going to give you some time so you practice the conversation with your classmates in the breakout rooms. I'll send you there and I'm sending you screenshots to the, to the WhatsApp group so you can practice the conversation. You have around five minutes. Okay, are we ready? Everybody ready? Okay, now you can go to the breakout rooms and I'll see you there. Cuatro. Cuatro. Vaya, si quieren eh, eh, empiezan Jonathan y Karen y leen la conversación. Después la podemos leer Katia y yo. Oh. ¿Les parece? Ok. Es una cosa eh, que... Eh. Ok. Empiezo. Hello. Can I ask you some questions for an interview? Yes, I can answer some questions. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question, what do you do? I work in a library. I'm a librarian. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your husband do? He works as a policeman. Do you usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. There's another part. Didn't you get it? Hi, did you get the second part? I don't understand. Um, sorry, there is another part of the conversation. Did you get it? Perdón, es que se escucha entrecortado. No sé, hay otra parte de la conversación. Yeah, yeah. No sé si la no la recibieron. Because I sent both. We have the first part of the conversation. No, no. Oh, I sent both. Let me send it again. Just thinking. How about now? Can you check? No, oh no. Maybe no, you can. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Let's continue. Okay. How often does your husband exercise? He sometimes exercises four times a week, but he usually exercises only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We rarely go on vacation. However, we like to go the mountains if we can. What type of book do you read? I often read horror stories. Thank you very much for answering my question. You're welcome. Okay. Next. All right, who's going to continue reading? Hola, este, Karen y yo podemos hacer la, leer de nuevo. Sure, continue practicing. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, can I ask, ask you some question and for uh, an interview? Me, Karen. Estamos leyendo de vez. Yes, I am. Mejor empecemos porque tú tendrías que ser Mark. <risa> y yo Jennifer, ya, ¿verdad? Ya, ya lo hice con Yolanda, pero bien. ¿Quién uh, hay? Eh, can, I, ¿Can I ask you some question for interview? Yes, I can ask you some question. Thank you for taking the time. Now, first question, what do you do? I work in a library. I am library. Are you married? Yes, I am. I think what it's does? librarian. 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 Okay. librarian. Uh -huh. librarian. I am, libra I am li librarian. What does your husband do? He works a policeman. Do you usually have diner together? Yes, we do. Next. Next. Do you have the the next screen? I think we have two two conversation. I think. Me está compartiendo. Carlos, usted tiene la las dos conversaciones, no solo una. Ah. Uh... How often does your husband exercise? Solo una me ha caído. Maybe you can update it. Tal vez si lo actualiza. I sent both. Uh -huh. This is the second part. Uh -huh. Empezaría el comiero. Norman. Norman, are you there? Okay. O practicamos una seta. Carlos. Es que el compañero no. How no. often does your husband exercise? Um, he sometimes exercise for time a week, but he usually exercise only twice a week. Where do you like going on vacation? We rarely go on vacation. However, however, we like to go to the mountain. What we type can. of books do you do you read? 
I often read horror stories. Thank you very much for answering my questions. You're welcome. Okay, it seems everybody's back. So it was very nice to hear you practicing the conversation. Let's just review a couple of words. Let's practice pronunciation. Let me see. Okay, I need you to repeat, please. Questions. Everybody repeat, please. Questions. Interview. Question. 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 Interview. 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 Answer. Interview. Answer. Answer. Taken. Answer. 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 First. 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 Library. 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 Librarian. Library. Librarian. 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 Married. 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 Mary, Okay, husband. 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 Works. Hello. Works. 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 incorporando. Works. Policeman. 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 Usually. 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 Dinner. 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 Together. 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 Okay, next part. Often. 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 Exercise. 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 Sometimes. 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 Exercises. 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 Let me see. Twice. 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 Rarely. 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 Vacation. 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 Mountains. 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 Horror. Repetition con esa, por favor. Oh, oh, oh. Which one? Mountains? Mountains. 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 Very well. Mountains. 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 Okay, next. Horror. 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 Answering. 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 Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation of any words? When I can to use often and sometimes. When you can use often and sometimes? Well, it all depends. Excuse me? Uh, Jennifer no, ref no respondió often, sino que he sometimes. Entonces, yes, so it depends often. on how often you do something. Um, let me see. Give me a second. Let me okay, so we have different uh, adverbs of frequency. And you can use each one depending on your own name. Uh, I mean, a uh, frequency, right? On how often you do something. 
So we would have, for example, rarely, which would be when you do not do something very often. Then uh, we also have sometimes, which is more than rarely. And we have often, which is more than sometimes. So it all depends on how often you do something. For example, well, if we want to label it, like uh, giving it some percentage or something like that, like we would say often would be like 70 or 80%. And then um, like sometimes would be less than often. So that would be like, um, let's say 60% more or less. And rarely would be just um, what, 10% or 20%, something like that maybe. So that's how it goes. So we have rarely, raras veces, sometimes, algunas veces, often, seguido. That's how they go. Um, is it clear now, mister? Eh, podría haber contestado Jennifer, he often exercise. Um, yes, so it all depends on how often he does it. Dependería de qué tanto eh, o qué tan seguido lo hace el esposo. Qué tan frecuente. Sí, qué tan, exactly. So in this case, she says he sometimes la, exercises. La algunas veces. Igual, podría. Excuse me? Excuse me, sorry, I couldn't hear the last thing you said. Excuse me, uh, what is the topic? No, aún no hemos llegado al tema. Estamos nada más practicando la conversación, pero eh, ahí el compañero me hacía preguntas sobre esto. Por eso lo, lo estamos explicando, pero no. Teacher, no. I... Uh -huh. I have a question. Tell me. What's the meaning of? What's the meaning of? However. However, sin embargo. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, any other questions? No more? Okay, let's continue then. Now, uh, let's continue by talking about the interrogative form in the simple present. And we'll start with yes, no questions. We have to start with the corresponding auxiliary verb. Remember that we use the auxiliary do for the subjects I, you, we, and they. So we say do I, do you, do we, and do they. And we use does for the subjects he, she, and it. Does he, does she, does it. Also, we have to keep in mind that the subject goes right after the auxiliary do or does. That means we start the question with do or does, and then we add the, the subject, right? Do I, do you, does she, does he, and something really, really important is that we use the verb in the base form. We do not have to conjugate it in any way. Some examples on how to make yes, no questions. Do I work in a big company? Do you check your emails every day? Does Alan buy cake for his sister's birthday? Can you read the next one, please? Does Christelle sell ice cream weekend? Thank you. Next one, ready, please. Does the dog need some water? Thanks. Can somebody read the next one? Do Marian and I go out on Saturday? Okay, good. 
And that, this one, can somebody read it? Do Chris and Fernando do the housework in their homes? Good. So you see we have different examples using do and does. And here we start with do or does, then we have the subject, I, you, Alan, Crystal, the dog, Miriam and I, Chris and Fernando. And then we have the verb. It's important to notice that the verb goes in the base form. Work, do I work? Do you check? Does Alan buy? Does Crystal sell? Does the dog need? Go, go out. And do, we do not conjugate the verb. We do not add as or anything. Just use the base form, the infinitive. And keep in mind that we use do for the subjects I, you, we, and they. Does is for he, she, and it. And then in order to answer these questions, we use do or does as the auxiliaries again. So we would say, do I work in a big company? Yes, I do. Or you could also say, no, I don't. For the short answers. Do you check your emails every day? How do you answer that one? Yes, yes. I yes. yes, I do. Yes, I do or no, no, no I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. That is fine. And uh, let's try with this one. Does Alan buy cake for his sister's birthday? Answers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he yes. does. They, they, no, he does. Or they, no? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, that is correct. He doesn't. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Oh, uh, he, he um, doesn't. Okay, and now let's talk a little bit about information questions in the simple present. Information or WH questions are used when we want to know specific information, right? And for example, when we ask, what do you want to eat tonight? Where do they live? Who do you think is going to win? When does she arrive? We're asking for some information. Why does he eat cookies? And uh, how do I make um, WH questions or information questions in the simple present? Well, it's pretty similar to the yes, no questions, except that we have to add the WH word at the beginning, right? We start with a WH word. It could be what, who, why, when, how, or whichever you want to use. Then we need the auxiliary verb, do or does, depending on the subject. Once again, do is for the subjects I, you, we, and they. Does is for he, she, and it. Then we add the it's subject. She. And after that, we need the verb. The verb goes in the infinitive form, as you see. Enjoy, want, do, and buy. We have make, plan. And then we add the rest of the sentence oh, yeah. or the complement. Some examples. Who do you enjoy spending time with? What do I want to read now? When does she go, when does, excuse me, when does she do the groceries? Where does Luke buy his shoes? Why does the computer make this noise? How do they plan on getting home? Do you see how we use the which word, then do or does? And then the, the subject, you, I, she, look, the computer, they. Then we add the verb, right? The verb in the base form, and you, I, want, and so on. Then just a complement or rest of the sentence. And in order to answer these questions, we need to provide the information we're asked for. For example, number one, would be who do you and you always spending time with? What can you answer to that one? What could be an answer? Who do you enjoy spending time with? Oops. 
say uh, with my husband. Okay. okay, so you say I enjoy. I enjoy spending time with my husband. We I enjoy spending time with my husband. It's false, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the next one, what do I want to read now? What can I say? What can I answer? Mm, I, want to read, I want to read the newspaper. I want to read the newspaper. Good. So you see, uh, we must answer by providing the information we're asked for. Now, um, something that we must keep in mind is that for the third person singular, the S is only on the verb to do. Do not repeat it on the second verb. So that means we do not change the main verb, right? We do not conjugate it. For example, here we have, what does she listens to at night? That is incorrect. We shouldn't say that. We should only say, um, what does she listen, right? What does she listen to at night? When does it turn off? Don't say that, please. When does it turn off? Why does he like to eat peas? Why does he like? Like. And uh, remember, we do not conjugate the verb because we are already indicating the third person by using the auxiliary does. Whenever you use does, you know that you are referring to a third person subject, he, she, or it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions about this? Tenemos preguntas, any questions? No, we're ready for the practice. Okay, so here I have it. And we are going to work on exercise number one by reading the text that you have here, it's very short, and answering some questions. So you read, you get the information, then you write your answers. Then in exercise two, we have to complete the questions by using the correct auxiliary and the verb in parentheses. For example, here, we choose do or does, then we add the verb. For example, number one, what's the answer? How do you complete it? Any ideas? Is it do you or does you? Do you do you do you drink mineral water? Do you water? drink mineral water? That is what you have to do with all of them. Then in the next exercise, you have to make questions using do or does. They are WH questions. And we have, for example, number one, where you and go to school. Can you make a question, please? Where? Do. Where do, do, you, do. Go? Did you go to school? You go to school. Did you go to school? Where do you go to school? Okay, you and school. that will be all. We got three exercises to develop. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms now, so you work on them, you complete them, and um, we're going to have some time, right? Then we come back and check. Let me see, okay. I'm opening the rooms now, and I'll send you the screenshots in a moment.
Hello, did you get the exercises? Oh, you got that. Good. Okay, thank you. Si, si pones el teléfono horizontal, se va a ver mejor. Si, si puede girar el teléfono. Ahí está. Sí. Sí, read out the text and answer the questions. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguien quiere leerlo en voz alta para escucharlo? Andrew gets up early in the morning. At about seven. Continue. Continue, please, continue, please. Continue, please. At about seven fifteen, he takes a shower. After that, he gets dressed and he has breakfast. He has cocoa and a sandwich for breakfast. Uh, he goes to a school by bus. Lessons start at nine o'clock. He has usually lunch at school. He comes back home at about three. In the afternoon, he watches TV and he does his homework. Finally, he goes to bed at about 10 in the evening. And how about the questions? Lisa? Uh, the first one would be he does he do say he does he do get up just uh, he does yeah. no. Uh, no he doesn't no he doesn't he gets up uh, early, no? Mm, yes, that's right. He wakes up. In that case, we would say he wakes up early. He wakes up early, okay. Mm -hmm. This is the answer is no, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He wake up, wakes up early. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So in the morning. Yes. Yes, he does. I think is he. I, okay, and now, yes, he does. Um, he has cocoa and a sandwich, or not? Yes, for breakfast? Yes. Okay. With, does he like cocoa? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> yes. What do you okay. think? Yes. Yes, yes. he does. Uh, he has cocoa for breakfast. Does. So he must like it. <laughs> every day. <laughs> or every morning. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we supposed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, right. Number four, does school start at eight o'clock? Okay, no. No. In this case, is does school start? It no, no. It, it doesn't. No, it it doesn't. Uh huh. It doesn't. Uh huh. Mm. The school, at nine, uh -huh. the school starts. Uh, nine. Sorry? 
Um, and then, okay. Number five, does he have lunch at home? Does he have lunch at home? Okay, no, he doesn't. Uh -huh. No, he doesn't. That's usually no, excellent. He no, he doesn't. Okay, okay. I don't understand. Sorry? Uh, number two. Uh, ¿Qué no entendió? Walter, yes. o who, o Naun. No, no. Uh, Sorry? Ah, sí, entendí. Ok. ¿Tú? Sometime. Eat in the morning. Sería, she has. Eat. Cocoa and sandwich. Sometimes. Something or sometime. Sometimes. Sometimes. Something. Something. Yes. Does he have something. something to eat in the morning? Something to eat in the morning. Something. 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 Does he like cocoa? We say cocoa. Uh, it's cocoa, cocoa. Cocoa. Yes. Cocoa. Uh, cocoa. Mm. He, he, likes, he likes cocoa. Yes, he likes cocoa. Yes. O no yes. Yes o no yes. Y no se sería he likes coco. Sí, porque yo estoy diciendo, contestando por él, estoy diciendo, yes, sí, a él le gusta la cocoa. Entonces, la, lo correcto es he likes, he likes coco. Siempre hablando así como un infinitivo. Yes or no, yes. Oh, sería yes, he does. No, yes. No, yes, only he likes. <laughs> only he likes coca. <laughs> yeah, you could use both answers. You could say yes, he likes coco, or yes, he does, he likes coco. So both of them are correct. Just like cocoa. Just like cocoa. Maybe he likes cocoa. Does school start at eight o'clock? No, it doesn't. It starts at nine. Clock. No. Go ahead. No, he doesn't. No, it doesn't. Does it? It's a real, right? No, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm talking about the school. It's one thing. Okay. It, no, it does. Doesn't. It doesn't or it does not. Ah, okay. Okay. Number five. To see how lunch come out. Okay. 
No, he doesn't. He has lunch at school. For example, it's usually lunch he, at school. He does. <laughs> That he has to be a student. No, he doesn't. Does he have lunch at home? Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. No, no, he do. No, he does. He doesn't. He doesn't or he does not. No, he doesn't. Doesn't Correct. lunch at home. Short answer. No, he doesn't. Short answer. Un. Un. And low, low answer is. No. Pesos. Tal vez intentemos hacer el primero. El primero que nos saltamos. Pa. Okay. Es el primero. Lo leo. Hay que leerlo todo. <ríe> Andrew gets up early in the morning at about seven, at about seven, okay, 20, 25, he, 7, 15, 15, he takes a shower after that he gets drizzled, drizzled, no, algo así. And dressed. He gets dressed. dressed. And he gets breakfast. He has cocoa and sandwich for breakfast. He goes to school by bus. Lesson start at nine o'clock. He has usually lunch at the school. He comes back home at about three. Really? In the afternoon, he watches TV and does his homework. Finally, he goes to be to bed at about ten in the evening. The evening. ¿Cuál es la primera pregunta? La siguiente lámina, ¿eh? Carlos. La primera. Favor. La primera. No, 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 por eso, la siguiente lámina no es de contestar ahí. Eso. No sé. Empieza este. Yo, ok. Andrew, Andrew, get up early in the morning. Um, about seven. At about uh, seven, fifteen. Fixing. Mm -hmm. He take a shower. No sé si alguien más quiere seguir. He take a shower. After that, he gets dressed and he has breakfast. He has cocoa and a sandwich for breakfast. Okay, He goes to school. The bus lecture start at nine o'clock. He has usually lunch at school. Okay. He comes back at about three in the afternoon. He watches TV and he does his work. Finally, he goes to, 
to bed at about 10 in the evening. Este, no sé si lo volvemos a leer porque Sánchez también repite. Que, ajá, que empiece ahora el leyendo. Andre get get no yo pronunciación no sé Andre get gets up early in the morning early in the morning at about about seven at about seven sixteen no se dice quince 15. 15. He takes a shower. shower. A shower. A shower. Does his gets get dressed. He gets dressed. And he he has breakfast. He okay. has cocoa and sandwich for breakfast. He goes, goes to school the bus. Lesson. 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 Nine o'clock, he usually has usually lunch at the school. Okay. Uh, at nine o'clock, he has usually lunch at school. Okay. Um... Have you finished the other exercises? Yes, we finished. Just you're done. You're just missing this one, or you finish all three of them. We finished all. Okay. All right. That's good. We're coming back in a couple of seconds. Okay. Hello. Hello. All right, we're all back. And um, tell me, did you finish the exercises? Yes, yes we finished. Everybody finished? Yes. Okay. Nice, and we are going to check them tomorrow because of the time. And, and let me just take a couple of minutes for us to explore the midterm test. So let me remind you that if you have not gotten to section three, you should do it today the most. So please remember that by now you should have completed section number three, including the midterm test or the midterm exam. So let's take a look at the midterm in case you have not done it. You should do it today. If you have not, you should do it today. Okay, let's take a look at it. It has some different parts. We got a part A, it's listening. And the instruction says, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So here you have the audio. You listen to it. I recommend that you listen to it the most three times. Yo les recomendaría que lo escuche como máximo tres veces. And well, try to get the answer. It is not important to understand everything, but to get the answers. La parte importante no es entenderlo todo, sino en poder encontrar las respuestas. 
en eso debemos enfocarnos. No, eh, no intente entender palabra por palabra porque eso en verdad eh, nos dificultaría bastante, nos complica un montón. Entonces, lo importante es que logremos responder, que logremos obtener esta información que acá nos piden. That is our objective, right? Just get the answers to the questions. That is the important thing. That is the essential part of the listening. In part B, what you have to do is to fill in the blanks using the correct form of B. So you use am, um, is, or are. As you see, we have some blanks here and we got some space to write our answers. We just write am, um, is, or are. And remember to be careful with capital letters and spacing. Cuidado con, uh, con los espacios y con las letras mayúsculas. Please. And then we have a um, heart C. It says circle the word. You have to choose the right possessive adjective. So here you have the different choices. You just get the one that fits in the expression or sentence question that you have. Next part, it says complete the sentences. So here you just um, write the correct answers or the correct time expressions in the different spaces or in the different gaps. And that's pretty much it. Next one is the reading part. Here you have to read the email and then check the correct answers. Once again, it is not essential, it is not important to understand everything. The goal or the objective is to get the answers. So just read and get the answers. Do not worry about understanding all the information you have here. Just get the answers. That's the, the goal. That's the skill we must develop. And I believe that's pretty much it with the midterm exam. Then we get to section number four. So please, if you have not worked on this, do it today or the most um, tomorrow. I mean, just do it as soon as you can, please. And thanks everyone for your participation. Take care and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Much. Bye. Bye.